It's Derby time. I can't wait. And I know a triple crown. Ben Ross is getting excited. When somebody mentioned her horses. No, 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 no. Home runs. Home runs. Welcome. We've got a couple of cool ways in which you can bet the Derby tonight across a couple of books here. So pay attention because we're going to sign you up at multiple spots and allow you to take advantage of profit boost. That's what should perk your ears. Hopefully they're big like mine because whenever you well, well, uh, profit boost, they should be tingling. They should be moving. Welcome in. Thumbs up. Subscribe, please. You're watching on Twitter. Follow along. We have a couple of things we're going to look at across the board today. but. Let's start with FanDuel because FanDuel has a 30% profit boost. It's awesome. You kind of have to get in there first, though. So if you're not in on FanDuel, you can't take advantage of the 30% profit boost. But don't worry. I got you. See? See how easy this is? I got you. Ten times your first bet back. All right? This link is below. It's easy. It's going to be super, super easy for you to go. Look, I'm even behind it. Nothing can get in the way of FanDuel right here. All we want you to do is just sign up below so that you can get in. Bet 20 bucks, get $200 back in bonus bets. So put 20 bucks on whatever the heck you want. In fact, I'm going to give you something right now to put 20 bucks on. Okay, let's do it. There it is. FanDuel's up, 30% profit boost. We'll get to that in a second. But the first bet to put 20 bucks on is, and I'm go doing this here for one reason and one reason only. Randy Arozarena, Arozarena, pardon me, is the guy that we want to target. Because two things. One, Pete Alonso is the guy we're going to fade. I'll explain that a little bit more. This is how you get in here right away on FanDuel. I mean, look at this. Right, first bet back is going to win you two one fifty and the two hundred in bonus bets. So you're going to hit something and get the two hundred in bonus bets. Not bad, not bad. If not, then you get the two hundred in bonus bets. It's pretty cool. But a Rosarena here is a guy we're targeting because of exit velocity. Vladimir Guerrero is somebody we will target for a similar reason. But let's just start here with the second best. Exit velocity across the board, across this field. A Rosarena is being undervalued, I think, because he doesn't have the numbers. He doesn't have the name as an Alonzo or Robert, at least Lewis Robert or even Julio Rodriguez, if you look at that from prior years. So I get it. I get it. The longest home run favorite, rightfully so, is Vladimir Guerrero. He's got the best exit velocity across the board at 98. But right behind him, and I don't mean like right, right across Major League Baseball. I just mean right behind him in this field. A Rosarena now becomes a viable player with the guy whose exit velo has been smashing at 94. Max exit velocity, 93, hard hit, 91. This is something to target for a deeper player right now. And that's how I would use my first $20 bet for sure. You jump in on here right away on FanDuel, you'll see you win the 150 and the bonus bets back. Now, what about for you out there who want to boost? Because you need to boost. You have to boost. Don't worry. I've got some stuff on DK I'll show you in a second. But let me just explain the FanDuel boost that I'm using here. You can see all the different outcomes. How about round one matchups? We might as well right, go right back to him. Right now, a Rosa Arena plus 118. All right. Now, normally this would win you $118. I boosted it at 30% to show you because if we have him with the second best EV with Ridiculous hard hit max EV in there as well on the season. It stands to reason for me that he's going to get out of the first round, that he's going to be able to sneak up on a bunch of this field and maybe make a push. Probably not get out of the second. I recognize that, but make at least a splash in the first. Those numbers should correlate into him doing something somewhat special in the first. Doesn't mean you need to break any records at all, but. That would be how I'd use my 30%. And there you see it. This boosts this up to plus 154. So if you're not already on FanDuel, 
your $20 first bet a Rosa Reina to hit the longest home run. If you are on FanDuel, well, you better take advantage of this 30% profit boost and make this plus 154. Over one and a half to one that he gets out of the first round is a must bet for me. So, top two plays on FanDuel, target Randy or Rosa Reina. And one can be used as your first initial bet, the other as your next bet. Simple stuff, right? Now, as I mentioned, that's how you get on FanDuel. It's below me. There is a link. Absolutely. There are other elements here going on and ways to play. DraftKings. Guess what? There's a link. Some of you out there are only on DraftKings. Some of you out there are only on FanDuel. We are bringing the world together, okay? I come first generation, all right? My dad's side, I come from a region known for a hotbed of activity. And you know what the most beautiful thing is? The most beautiful sight, people coming together. Humanity acting out. That's all we're about here on the Odd Shopper channel, really. Bringing you together. I don't care what you look like. I don't care where you're from. I don't care what your bankroll is. You're here. That's the most important thing. You're here. You're here to make some money. So let's get you signed up at Dra uh, DraftKings. Why not? Right? Like, let's get you in there. Your first bet, five bucks, and you'll get 150 bucks back, whatever it is. Whatever it is. Check out Putting for Dough. Put five bucks on the long shot that be it Ben and I have. It. That'll be up there. It doesn't matter what your $5 bet is. Honestly, it can be anything. It should be anything. It doesn't matter at all. You're getting 150 back. That's insane. The bet doesn't need to win. It doesn't need to be a money line, any of this stuff. We just, we want to get you in. And yes, of course, if you're already in, you know that you have a 50% profit boost. So you see, you see, we get you in first, put that five bucks back. You'll get the 150 instantly. Then you can take advantage of the 50% profit boost. All right, here's what I have. And we'll get to a winner before we get out of here. There's one guy above Randy and Rosarena, who's got the EV to lead all EVs. And the average exit velocity for Vladimir Guerrero this year is 98. So I'm reading, I'm talking, I'm talking to people who have been successful betting this field in the past, and they say, well, their exit velocity, hard hit percentage, these things carry over. Okay, let's look at this. First and foremost, we have Lewis Robert Jr. versus Vladimir Guerrero Jr. A couple of juniors in the house leading this. Long shot value for Lewis Robert Jr. leading that field. Maybe, maybe. But I think it's more a matter of getting through Rushman and then, of course, knocking off our guy in the second round, which we have a Rosarena winning and then losing to the top seed, which puts six-seeded Vladimir Guerrero, because he doesn't have the numbers, of course, like home run numbers into that slot. He'll knock off somebody, either Alonzo or Rodriguez. And it doesn't matter. We'll get to Alonzo in a second. And that's our final right there. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Look, Pete Alonzo is dealing with a wrist injury. Is he not? Like Pete Alonzo is not healthy. Here's the thing. Pete Alonzo is not 100%. What are you expecting from me to bet on a guy who comes into a, an event, an exhibition event who's hurt? You want me to put my own freaking money because he's the favorite? Is that it? Is that the only reason he's the favorite and he's won this thing before? And he's looking to be like Ken Griffey Jr., the first guy to win this thing three times. Next thing you're going to bring up an SB. Next thing you're going to bring up an MTV award. Shove it. Stop. The guy is hurt. It would be in his best interest to show up, wave his good wrist, and then crank like five or ten and bow the hell out. What are you doing to yourself or your team? Otherwise, just admit that your season is over, both individually and team, and this is like the highlight of your year, which I don't think they're willing to do in New York, and I don't think he is willing to do. Not to say he won't take this thing seriously, but get out of here. I'm not putting my money on Pete Alonzo doing anything banged up. I don't care how healthy they say he is. He ain't healthy. You know his wrist isn't healthy. So we'll go under 42 and a half home runs. Easy, I would think, right? Easy game here. Nice little check cashing. All right. 
This has been bet down. It's unfortunate. I'm not going to go Julio Rodriguez, although I would look on the way out. Julio Rodriguez as far as a long shot to bet. But I think we're going to just comfortably bet Vlad to win this thing. He comes in at 370. He was bet down. I know he was over four to one. Anything over 350, I still think is a, a viable number to bet. I'm fine with that. Fade Alonzo. A Rosa Rain is going to be sneaky, but I think we approached him the best that we can. I don't trust any of the guys below him. It's great to see bets in this thing. We didn't talk much about him. Fantastic. Love betting on him individually, but stepping in with this field with seasoned guys, no. Rodriguez, again, has better value than Guerrero. I just think when you look at the Venn diagram of can he do it, value, Guerrero is still in the middle. Rodriguez still as well. It's not Pete Alonso. It's not Pete Alonso. All right, there's a link below. Your first bet, 150 bucks right back, right away, right away. That's, as you see it, on DraftKings, so we appreciate you. And then also, if I can show you this one more time, thank you. Fandle. So we gave you the 30% profit boost on Fandle. We gave you the 50% profit boost on DraftKings. We gave you links below. Links below on all of that. Enjoy the Derby. Let's make some money.